Hello everyone, this is the second episode of the series Micro Builds that I'm doing. Uh, today we're going to be making a pool table or snooker table, depending on which one that you end up wanting to go with. Uh, this is a nice dead simple build. Uh, it looks a lot harder than it actually is to do. Um, I did it for a Halloween build that I did uh, for Captain Steve's uh, base off that he did, I think it was last year. And uh, yeah, nice and easy build, nothing to it. Just make sure you've got plenty of any matter on you. And uh, there's one little trick to get the colour of the table like that as well. Because the colour that you start off with is a bit naff, it's like red and white I think. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll crack on. So first things first, just go into stone and pick up anything like a small wall, wall, anything like that. And then just go into the colour menu and change it to black. And then that way, when you cycle back into these parts and pick up your stone table, your stone table will be the colour that you designated that wall. Because uh, I don't think there's an option to turn the stone table um, black. I don't think you can do it through the colour menu, but that's the way around it. Obviously you don't have to do black, you can do whatever colour you want. And then we'll size it up. A rough guide is normally to do it just a little bit smaller than the edges of one of these squares. And then all we need to do is go into here and pick up a clear panel. Now it'll look like it's below it. All you have to do is size it up. And once you size it up, you'll see it come through. Now I always make sure, you don't have to be absolutely spot on with centre in this because you can't see it. But just try and make sure that the, uh, the markings on either side are just under the lip. Uh, I'm just going to get some antimatter because I forgot to make some earlier. Yeah, you need about... I think for the snook table, you need about 14. But uh, we're doing the pool table on this one. So, yeah. No one we need as much. So we'll size this down. Now, the way I do it is just to take it all the way down to the smallest it'll go. And then, if you take it over to the side of the table and size it up until the top of the ball is just visible above that line. Try not to get the ring if you can help it. Sometimes you'll get a ring around them, but you just have to play around with it. And yep, so pool table, we'll just place the cue ball at the top. And then we'll put a little triangle of these in. You can get really close with these. It can be a bit of a pain in the ass positioning it sometimes. Especially if you want it to get it as dead on as you can. But uh, once you've got the main three in, it's it's a little bit easier. I always find this one the hardest. I don't know why. This one's always the hardest for me to get in. But come on. See what I mean. But there we go. Yep, that's in. So then whack the edges of your triangle in. It's a shame. Actually, I haven't tried it. Uh, I might have to find out. But so far, I don't think you can change the colour of those uh, red balls on top of these be good if you could so yeah just go back in grab your panel again change it to green for the felt and then just get your center above it get it centered line it up again you don't have to be absolutely spot on uh, it, it pays to be a little bit more spot on with this one than the other one that was below it but you, like I say with the edges of the table you can quite sort of get away with it sometimes it's worth just spinning it about just until you can get it I don't think it's going to go that side. Let's try this way. That's better. Right, there you go. And yeah, there you go. Get yourself a pool table. Stick it in any bars that you're building or any uh, big houses, you know, if you want to have a games room or out like that. I do it uh, when I build settlement. When I, when I get my settlements, what I tend to do is I will then... Um, put a base computer down so I can build on my settlements and I always go over to the bar and build one of these inside the actual settlement bar because it looks ace but yeah there you go I hope they're all right and uh, I hope you have fun having a go at them but for now thank you for joining me it's been good to see you any ideas you've got and you want to send them my way I'll do some base builds with them but uh, I'll see you in episode three bye for now